All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a tasker scene to uh, type in some text. I'm gonna be using my finger on my cell phone a lot, but uh, we can add an item to this list by manually typing in text, and it's gonna bring up a tasker scene, and that's gonna be the main focus of this video is to figure out how to make a scene. Then I'm gonna show you how to send it over to KLWP. So tapping on plus, let's type in something here. So let's say create video. Um, on occasion, if okay, I'm gonna press my little plus right there, press the plus, and notice it did pop it up to the top of my list. That's the way I have it set up. If I want to remove an item, I'm looking at my item numbers. Item number one, two, three, four, five, etc. If I want to remove that create video, I press minus. That's item number one. Notice it takes it away. If I come down here, if I want to remove item number one, two, three, four, five, fix hole. So I'm pressing the minus. I want to remove item number five, fix hole is gone, but I want to put that back because that's something that I need to do. Um, I took down my son's uh, camera in his bedroom to monitor him at night, and there's a little hole from a screw in the wall, so I gotta patch it up. So that's just a little reminder to myself to fix the hole. All right, so notice how things are getting added, getting removed. All this stuff's done with a tasker scene and a couple of actions in tasker. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, so inside of Tasker, I've already gone over these three in my other video where I did the auto voice where we could add things to our list using a voice. Um, go back and watch my tutorial, but a quick recap. Uh, To-do list, we had this thing running. Um, go back and watch my full tutorial, but we were uh, having an item that we used in auto voice and we're gonna send that thing over to KLWP. So array push, whatever I said, add whatever to my list, it puts it in position one and we called it percent item, but it's actually gonna be the word that we said and it's gonna put it in that array. Uh, it sends it over to KLWP. This is gonna be the same configuration for all of these actions or all these tasks that we're creating today. So we got those, nothing different there. Um, so that's array push that will add an item to your list. And then uh, clear list, well, that right there will just completely clear it. That's, I'm going to still leave that as just a voice action to uh, clear my whole list. We could easily add something um, on our scene. As a matter of fact, I don't want to do it because I don't want to clear my list, but you could add a button to clear it. Um, remove item, we can just remove a specific number using our voice, and now we're doing the same stuff. So array push adds an item, array pop will remove an item. So add item scene. Here's what we're going to focus on. We got a couple of things we want to do, but I'm going to start with the scene because that's the first thing in this task. So let's go over to scenes and I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to call this thing plus scene. Now some of y'all, if you're not familiar with creating scenes, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing right now. This may change in the future because the way I do things constantly changes. All right, so here's our scene. Um, you can use your finger to manually drag this thing around and change its size and stuff like that. Uh, but what I like to do, go up here to my properties, grid size, my preference, grid size, bump the number all the way up. That's just me. Um, what that does is it gives you less points um, to click things in. You might want more points, you might want less points. To show you more what I'm talking about, if I go up here to properties and I set this background of my scene to a black, just so you can see something. If I back out, this is the actual scene that we're in. And notice how it's in relationship to our whole screen. I don't know if you can see it, but if I tap on this magnifying glass down here, there are little tiny dots. You might not be able to see them, but on your screen, on your phone, you should be able to. If I go adjust this grid size and I lower this number, um, now you can see the dots. There's more points of contact. Maybe that, maybe there is a, a mathematical number there of the, of the magic grid size you need, but I'm just gonna stick with 60 because it makes it easier for me to uh, manually move these things around using some arrows right here in a second. What I like to do, um, the size of my scene, I like to make it the size of my full screen. So if I come back down here to my magnifying glass, if I go to this little guy here and I go to resize, I can actually resize this scene using these arrows. You can still use your fingers. Um, if you go back to normal, you can use your fingers. Um, but I find myself making mistakes by using my finger. So the back arrow will undo some moves that you've made. So I just like to go to resize and I'm going to resize and I'm gonna make sure this thing is filling up my whole screen. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna go back, press the magnifying glass. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go to properties and I'm going to set this background color to completely transparent. 
That way, yeah, it's there. I'm filling up my whole screen. This is how I like to do it because now when I start adding elements, I can actually put items in relationship to where they are in the screen. I hope that makes sense. Um, because if you don't, if you start putting elements here and you want to show the scene later, but you want those elements to be up here, you have to adjust the position within the task, and I don't feel like doing that. That's just me. So let's add some elements. We'll go to plus. Let's add a... Um, let's add the, the text that says, what item do you want to add? So I'm going to go to text. You can give it a name if you'd like. So I'm just going to say what with a question mark. That's not what's going to show up on the screen. The text is what's actually going to show up on the screen. So I'm going to say what, and I cannot swipe. Darn it. So what do you want to add to your list? Text size, you can adjust that if you'd like. Um, let me back out of the keyboard. Okay, text size, I'm good. Scale width, uh, text color. What color do I want this to be? I'm going to let the text be a white, which it already is. Um, the font, I guess you have to load some fonts up. Position, center, vertical fit, mode. I haven't messed with any of that. Text format, plain text. I'm good with all that stuff for right now. I'm going to add a background to this. I'm going to call it uh, what background I want. Let's do like a, a gray that is not transparent at all. I'll tell you what, let's do a black since my text is white. Um, border width, and we'll add a border to it. Let's make the border color white. Um, do you want to throw some uh, little curves on your corners? Let's throw some little curves on our corners. Let's bump it up to like 10. I don't know what that's going to do. Um, I think everything else here is okay. I'm going to back out of this. Boom. Now, what we don't notice, let me back out of Let me press the magnifying glass. I do see my border. I do see some slight curves. But what I don't see is I go down here to edit. This is, allows me to edit what I'm gonna tap on this guy and now I can go back in here and edit it what did I have okay I never picked my color that's what it was so let's make our background um, we can leave it somewhat transparent so I have it on black but I have it kind of transparent so I'm gonna roll with it like that let's see what that looks like okay I'm happy with that you can still see kind of your background a little bit now I want to resize it so again if we go to normal we can use our finger. I'm using my finger on my cell phone right now. You can you know, grab that and resize it if you want, but I'm going to do uh, resize and now it's going to bring up these arrows. So now I can resize it like this. Now I'm just going to bump all of this. I'm going to make it the whole width. Uh, let's squeeze it in a little bit. And that way everything's kind of like nice and centered. It's, I'm okay with a little bit of gap over here. Now let's move it. Now, can you move it by dragging your finger? Yes, I'm dragging my finger. That's just fine. Or you can use your arrows to move it. Now, if we try to move it left and right, it's not going to move it because I have the whole width set up. But this is just how I prefer to do it. So I'm going to pop this up close to the top. Nothing else is happening there. That's just saying, hey, what do you want to do to your list? What do you want to add to your list? Pressing the magnifying glass down there. That right there will kind of take you back and forth out of certain pieces. But um, if we go back to normal... Um, if I press my magnifying glass, basically I'm trying to get to where I can add an element again. And sometimes I kind of get mixed up on how I do that. But go to normal and I'm looking for this plus. So now I'm ready to actually add the text where I want to enter in. We have to go to text edit. All right. So I'm going to call this enter item. You don't have to name these if you don't want to. I recommend not doing any text here as long as you know that this is going to be a blank text field because I think if you actually do this, if you add text here, you're going to have to delete it when you type in the new stuff. So I'm going to leave that blank. Um, text color, uh, that's set on, let's do it. text color white. Font position, where's the input? Input, normal text. That way you can type in numbers and letters for this. Do I want a background around this thing? Sure. Let's set a color. Let's do um, something kind of like what we did a while ago, I guess. Uh, something like that. Uh, border width. Do you want a border? Sure. Let's 
Let's make our border uh, completely white, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. Corner radius. Let's get some little curvage going on here. And what else do we need to do here? Text change. So this is where we're going to type in some stuff. Now, if we go here to plus and we go to variable set, I'm going to show you what this uh, item is going to percent item is what we used back in the other tutorial. So I'm going to call this percent item and I want to set it to the variable that I get from the text that I entered. You don't have to do this. I'm doing it. I recommend you do it. New value. New value. Whatever value is typed in, it's going to be stored as that variable where I want to store it as percent item. We can actually create a global variable here if you wanted to use it in all across Tasker, but I'm pretty cool with this. Press that. And I think that is all we have to do for the manual text. Let's go back and have a look at it, see how it looks. Okay, it's completely blank. Well, what we can do with this, look, background. Why did it not? It, it, I swore I pressed OK on that a while ago, but now we're good. So now we have some type slightly uh, transparent background. Let's resize it. I want to make it the full width of my screen. And I'm going to make it about that big. And now let's move it. So something like that. I'm okay with that. Maybe bump it down one piece. And now we got to do a button. Because, um, okay, we're going to type in our text here. If I zoom back out, this is kind of how it's going to look when it pops up on the screen. Obviously, we're not going to see this wallpaper back there. So what do you want to add to your list? This is where we're actually typing stuff into our blank text field. And then we got to have a button to kill this scene. So pressing my magnifying glass or something. I'm trying to get back to normal. There's my plus. So I had a button. All right, so button. I'm going to call this... Uh, Destroy scene or destroy. Why not? All right, so my button um, label. I think we can put some type of pictures in this thing. I'm just going to come down here to icon. I'm going to use a built in icon and I'm going to select uh, why not plus. All right. And on tap, when we tap this button, we want to destroy this scene. That way it'll t take this scene back away. So scene, destroy scene. That's the what I call this scene. Is that what I called it? No. I could have sworn I called it plus item, but I called it plus scene. Um, whatever. I'll tell you what, let's do this real quick. I, evidently, I thought I called it plus item, but if I come here and I edit the name of it, this is just me being OCD. So plus item. Now, let's go back and edit that. So now if we go back to this button, if I tap on this, I go to edit, I tap on that. You don't have to do those things down there. It's just what I like to do. So what happened? Did it, okay, notice it did change the destroy scene. So when I touch this button, I want to destroy that thing that I called plus item. And that's this scene that we're seeing on the actual screen right now. So a few other things for you. Well, we definitely got to resize this guy. So let's bump it on down. Um, let's go one, two, one, two. Um, and then, do I want it that big? Let's go down one more. One, one. How about that? I'm cool with that. And that's pretty centered. I'm happy with that. Some other things to keep in mind, too. Um, maybe you want something to be like a, a background. I know we had a background to the whole scene, but maybe you just want a background to this little part. So what we can do there, I'm going to go to magnifying glass. I want to get to my normal. To where I can get to that plus and I'm going to add a rectangle and I'm just going to call this BG. It's just going to be the background to the part of the scene um, that's going to be up there near the top. You'll see that right here in a second. I don't want to do anything with tap or anything up here at the top but I want to come down here. Let's pick a color. Let's do like a very very um, light. Press OK. It did apply. I don't know why it wasn't applying it a while ago. Let's back out of that. Here's this rectangle. Um, maybe we want to make it a little bit darker. Notice I just tapped on it real quick right then, but sometimes when you do this, see how it's resizing on me? But if you tap on it real quick, you can get back in and edit it. I'm going to make this one slightly darker. So how about something like that? Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I, I'm a fan of, of dark colors. Blacks, whites, grays. It's just me. Okay, let's resize it. But what you're going to notice is that this rectangle is over 
all my other pieces. Like if I go to move, not edit, but if I go to move, notice it's over all these pieces. So what we want to do here is I'm going to hold my finger down. I'm going to go to normal. I'm going to hold my finger down on it and I can set the depth. And depth, and watch what happens here. As I move this down, you're going to start seeing items. Notice the button popped in front of it. Now we're probably going to see the text enter box. And now if I set it to one, it's going to be behind everything. Boom. So what's some other things that I want to do? Obviously, you can make this look more colorful if that's your thing. Um, do I want a border? I don't want a border for this. So I, I think I'm pretty good with that. So again, this right here is just saying, what do you want to do? This is where you enter it. Um, it's going to take that percent new value and store it as percent item. And then once you're done with that, you press that plus, And that's going to kill that scene. So I think we're pretty good with that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into task. I'm going to add item scene, and I'm going to make it show this scene instead of that other scene that I would already created. So plus item. I display as a dialog. Very important here, if you choose like overlay or something, I think it's the overlay where it will block um, any tech, any finger inputs, any back buttons, home buttons, or whatever. So if you choose that, I'm just going to pick dialog, because dialog will let me press the back button and exit out of it. I'm not going to change any of the positions because I already have it positioned um, where I want it. Um, you know, what's what's this right here? I don't know what that's doing. Um, what, what, you can tinker around with it. I think I did when I first created this thing. It I did have these adjusted a little bit different. Okay, hold up. I want to put it. This is what I want to do. I'm trying to get that word center to pop back up. I could have swore I just saw it. There it is, boom, get back, center, center. Because basically it's going to take that whole scene that was the size of my whole screen and then I put those elements like what do you want to add? Well, basically here's what it's going to do. Boom, boom, let me go back to my scene, plus item. It's going to center, it's going to look just like this. Because remember at the beginning when I went to uh, the background, I, I made the, let me go X out of this, that guy right there, you see that white popping up around the edge? That's taking up my whole screen. So it's going to center that white that you see clicking there. It's going to center that on my screen, which is going to put this stuff up here at the top anyway. And that's how I want it. That's why I created my initial piece to be the size of my whole screen. You may want to do something different. But um, let me see, task, add item scene. So it's going to display that. Other things to mention to you, again, I use dialog. You can pick your animation. I don't need to see an exit button, but you do need an exit button if uh, you do overlay, because you gotta have some way to get out of your overlay. Just stick with dialog for right now. Continue task immediately, uncheck that if it's checked. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell, I think this is how it works, we're telling the rest of these things to wait until we work with this scene and maybe until we destroy the scene. Remember that button that we press will destroy the scene? But what we should have now is we should have this new scene popping up versus the one we initially had. So let's test it out and see. I'll bring up my list. I want to manually add an item. And now check out, this is that scene we just created. Let's see if it works. Test. Press the plus. Test pops up. Now if I go to minus, it's still going to show that other screen or the other scene that I haven't edited yet. So I'm going to go to one. I'm going to press that little tiny button right there, and notice it did take away item number one. So let me show you something else neat. If you want these things to look pretty similar, I'm going to go over to Scenes. I'm going to go to this guy. I'm going to clone it, and I'm going to call it Minus Item. But there's a few things we have to change in here. So I'm going to press Check, Minus Item. Obviously, we need to change this. Notice, now what I just did there, instead of me doing all this uh, stuff that I was saying, you know, I like to do this, you know, if you get, if you're if you're careful, you can, you can tap on these items without resizing them. So now, what do you want to remove from your list? So what do you want to remove from your list? Now, let's back out of there and see, okay, so boom, we got that. Let's go to this guy and let's edit this one. This is where we enter the item. Something that we want to change here, first of all, is the input type. Since I'm talking about item or numbers, I want to do numeric integer because I don't have like a 1.1 item. I just want to do numeric integers, nice pretty numbers. They can be negative, but we don't have negative list items. Uh, text change, we got to change this. 
So that new value we get out of this, I'm gonna call this percent number, because it's a number, I'm just calling it that because I can, but you can call it whatever you want. Boom, let's back out of that. And then this button, um, I called it destroy, <laughs> destroy. On tap, we want to destroy the scene, but now we want to destroy the scene minus item. Everything else, if I back out of here, should be good as long as I link up my remove scene. Uh, what scene do we want to show now? We want to show the minus scene. I'm going to center all my stuff back up. Oh, there it went. Again, because it's the same scene, I just cloned it and I changed a, a little bit of the coding. Animation, show exit button. We don't really need it because we have dialogue up here. Again, be careful. Make sure you do have an exit button if you use overlay. And yeah, okay, one thing to mention to you in here too, back in the add item, um, suppose, I think I did mention this to you, but suppose you went to add an item, but you press the back button and you never type something in. That, that means that percent item that we created back in the add item, it's not gonna be set. And if it's not set, I don't wanna run anything else on this task. Um, otherwise it would, well, I'll tell you what, let me show you what's gonna happen instead of me trying to explain it. All right, let's go back into KOWP. Let's add an item, and let's call it uh, test1. Okay, it popped it up. Let's add another item. And suppose I back out, so I'm going to press the back button. Notice nothing happened. Well, here's what would happen if we didn't have this part of our code in there. So add item scene, I'm going to power this one and this one. I'm just I'm not gonna delete them, I'm just gonna cut them off. So what's gonna happen now that means those two pieces are not going to run. If I go back into here and let me go to add an item, and suppose I've said, oh, I don't want to add one. Watch what happens. If we press back, it's still going to add percent item. So percent item technically wasn't set. I hope that makes sense. So if I go back into Tasker, go to add item scene, I cut these things back on, that's going to prevent percent item from popping up. Basically, you're not adding something to um, your list that you don't want to intentionally add. So backing out, let's uh, remove, check it out, see how that, what, what do you want to remove from your list? It's still the same looking scene, except now we should be able to remove item number one, and it didn't remove it. Oh yes it did, it just took a second, a little hiccup. Let's remove the next item number one, the test one, let's see if we can remove that one. Press the plus, and it removed it. But um, let me see, let me think, am I missing anything? Just so if we go back into Tasker, um, just to show you some things real quick as well, uh, what you can do sometimes, you may run into a few errors. I find that I run into a few errors doing this, but like if we want to test something out, uh, before I actually test this, run a test on this, I'm going to go over to VARS. And if we look at VARS, uh, list one, that's like the I first item number in our list. This is the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. When we add something, let's kind of understand really what's going on to this array, this list of items that we have. So I'm going to go back to my task, uh, uh, task and I'm going to go to add item scene, and I'm going to uh, run this task. And if we give it a second, it should pop up. What do you want to add to your list? I'm going to type in something, and let's type in, say, um, test number, just something. So this is going to pop it to the front of that list. Let's see if we get an error. Sometimes I do, but I, okay, it ran it just fine here. Because notice it says it showed the scene. I typed in test number. So that means that percent item that we set up in our scene, it was set, so it's going to push it to the first piece in our array and it's gonna send it to KOWP. So if I back out of here and then I go back to my VARs, notice list one is no longer fixed whole, it's now test number. So it's actually moving everything down in item number. Sorry about the screen being a little bit funky looking, I'm running off a of Wi-Fi right now. I didn't grab my USB cord and I wanted to add this to this tutorial real quick before I published it. But nonetheless, uh, if we want to go back and remove that one, so over here at VARS, notice item number one, test number. We can test this. Let's see. Let's make sure we don't uh, have any issues here. Uh, we shouldn't because we've already tested it anyway, but I'm going to press play. Scene pops up. What do you want to remove from your list? I want to remove item number one. So I'm going to press plus and let's see if it runs the rest of it. So it's going to pop 
remember the scene is going to get that variable percent number it's going to pop that position number so since I typed in a one if we go back to our vars and look notice uh, the one what used to be what was it test number it's been removed and it slid all our items back up um, I think it's pretty cool how you can kind of like test things out now I think I did mention this at the beginning of the video I started this video earlier today and now it's like the middle of the afternoon when I'm finishing it up but you know you may run into a time here or there where you might not if you go back to add something to your list I think I did mention this where if I go to plus and I want to add what to my list I'm gonna type in yo yo if I press plus in the event that it does not add it to your list just open tasker up close it up or just try to re-add it in this case right now my scenes are popping up whatever I'm typing in um, you know remove item one yo-yo's gone so I, I'm, I'm good with this but like I said you might run into an error here and there um, maybe there is a fix to it with priorities or something like that. If you know a fix of a fix to prevent these errors from happening, and maybe it's just a, a little bug, uh, please share it in the comments section below. And um, yeah, that's how you can enter text into Tasker or using Tasker and have it show up in KLWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.